you know, punishing what? me too? I just, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I brought you here. We're talking. And to, oh, I'm wearing. You see this skirt, guys? Look. I'm going to stand up. Are we ready, guys? Can I make it happen? I'm not out of the shot. Look. <laughs> you see, I was going to wear a pair of jeans, but I said, what the hell? Let me wear this skirt. Beautiful. Kind of Puerto Rican, kind of Costa Rican. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, good. There's too much going on, right? And I want people to take me seriously. There you go. Well, so <laughs> I can't. Well, that's a nice oh, style. It's it a is. nice style. It's too it's many nice. colors, though, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. But it's beautiful. I like I the like colors. It. So pretty much we film with stage work. I mean, I want to talk about the work in progress. Like when you do a rehearsal, when you get together for a film, for an idea, yeah. what do you do? How you make it work, how you create it, how you go from zero to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I want to hear about the creative process. Well, how uh, you make it, you know, make it work, how well, you make it happen. Um, sometimes you have to do research on, on t t characters. Sometimes it's, a, sometimes it's like a, Doing like a uh, field work, like um, your brain has a uh, in the in the brain they have a uh, uh, um, like um, like a photograph you of memory. You know, I'm looking at you. I understand, guys. Let me get honest because it's about truth and honesty okay Lou Torres is a very very special friend mm -hmm. he had a stroke about two years ago Lou last year last, last year. Mm -hmm. year and I you know I can't believe that you're here with us yeah you That's know right. you know when when Charles one of my associate producers called me my dear friend Charles called me and, and I get an email from Jose yeah, yeah, <sighs> Sanchez. Lou had a stroke, man. My heart stopped, man. I cried and said, I can't believe it. And me and Charles, remember that, Charles? Yeah, yeah. We went right to the hospital. We went to see you twice. I remember that your wife was there. Like I said, I didn't know you were married, man. I don't know how you <laughs> pulled that off, but I didn't know you were married. Your wife was right there, and it's like my heart was like, oh, Lou. I just, I was so glad that you were there, but I said, oh, he has to get better, he has to get yeah. better. You know, and you came to the show, like, what, like eight months ago, and now you're here, back with us. You know, it's, it's, it's touching, because you know, I know you. I know you. And Lou made his debut in, uh, in The Dragons. Yes. In The Dragons. Right? Oh, yeah. 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 Well, you really forgot about it. This is your, your, your <laughs> second chance in... Yeah, yeah. And so you made your debut in the Dragons. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you've been around you're, with all the movies, uh, the Spider-Man, Taxi, all of them, Manito, right? I mean, you, you've been around, Lou. But what I'm saying is that Lou is a, a kind of character that when you meet him, when you get to know him, he's bigger than life. Mm. And, you know, and when I saw him in the studio, we hit it off right away. You get to know different people from the actor's studio. Right. Um, and I met to Charles Casano, one of my producers right there. I met him at the actor's studio. Right. And this is what you get to know the people that you're going to be working with. Absolutely. You know, and it's just, I'm so glad that you're doing great, Lou. Mm -hmm. Thank you. know, you. it's no reason to fear. This is just, you know, look, it's an open space. Whoop, I dropped this, but I pick it up. The Miko. I'm in charge. <laughs> okay, I can show you that. Okay. Uh, but this is just an open space with three cameras. One, two, three. And we're going live now. It can be a little nerve wracking, but hey, we make it happen. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. it, it's like a, it's, it's a good exercise for any actor. Right. Right? So, what, let me ask you, what makes a good actor? What makes a good director? What makes a good writer? What makes a good playwright? Okay, uh, a good actor is taking the chance, going beyond. Uh huh. Uh, and not playing safe. Exactly. Uh, director is, again, taking a chance. Uh, with improvisations and you know different things like that. You like that. actors who bring things to the of table, course, right? Of, of course, of course, because it could be way better than what the person wrote. Right. You know. Right. Um, what's the other? Uh, what makes a good actor? What makes a good uh, director? A good playwright? A good writer? Okay, a good writer, you have to have a good ear for dialogue. If you don't have it, it's not going to work. 
how you develop a good ear? Well, you have to be around people, certain types of people uh -huh. to develop that. Uh -huh. See, when I grew up, I grew up around uh, Italians, African Americans, uh, uh, Greeks, um, you know, Latinos, uh -huh. automatic, you know. Uh -huh. But I grew up around and I was able to listen to what they were saying and able to write it. Yeah, you can translate. You have a good rhythm. When I read your plays, uh, it's like you fly, you go fast, mm. you go fast. Mm. It's just my opinion. I'm, uh, I'm right on, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you read, you know, your work, it's like you go, okay, it goes really, really fast. There's certain rhythms, you know, with your plays, pretty quick. Mm. And a good playwright, yeah, we cover that. A good writer, yeah, yeah. And you have to do a lot of same reading. thing, same mm -hmm. thing. Well, you know, I, you, I, I, I try not to read other people's stuff because I really don't want to be considered uh, a plagiarist. You know right. what I'm saying? Or, yeah. I mean, everything has been written before. Right. But I just don't want to fall into that thing where, oh, I heard that before somewhere. Nah. No. If you heard something before, it com it's coming from me originally. Uh-huh. Like, Your work is sacred to you. There you go. For all of us. Mm -hmm. I mean, what keeps us going? What keeps us going? What, what is it? Yes. Ah, make you think, Come huh? On. You see, what, what, keeps, makes, us what going? keeps us going? What keeps me going is the love for God. I'm, I'm not, I'm not a fanatic, but I, I'm a believer. Oh, okay. Me too. Right? Oh yeah. Yeah, because yeah, life is a miracle. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I have my whole family in Costa Rica. I left everything behind, and mm. every time I leave, I just look back and I said, Oh my God, mm. how I made it through. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just so tough. Mm. 